Hey everybody, it's Georgia Farming Fuva. Got a winter update for you guys. Unfortunately, it's not a good one. The bananas did not survive the cold front we had around Christmas time. So we had in Atlanta probably about four to five days where single digits stayed below freezing uh, and it just became too much. We ended up losing power for about a day. Uh, so my little heater system went out uh, and the bananas just got worse and worse. They started off just having a little bit of brown to them uh, and now they're completely rotten uh, and starting to even have a little fungus. So this tree itself is dead. Uh, but the good news is if we look at the pup that we had, the leaves didn't do too well. I trimmed them back. There were some uh, kind of some rotten parts on it, uh, but it's still putting on a new leaf um, to be determined if we're going to keep that one or there's a brand new pup down there. You can see that's really healthy that we might just let that one take over. Um, but either way, we're going to be positioned well uh, for a fruiting late this summer. If we walk over to the dwarf Namwa, we kind of have the same situation as the bigger pup. Um, the tree itself is doing pretty well. Uh, the trunk is still really solid. It's putting out a nice healthy green leaf. Uh, the leaves here died during that cold front as well, um, but we're still seeing healthy growth. So I don't see any reason why this one won't survive. But I think this is just proof that uh, in Atlanta, there's really no way to keep the actual fruit alive. They have a, a much higher uh, needed temperature, I guess, like a temperature threshold compared to the actual like trunk and tree itself. Um, so if we get fruit this next summer, uh, that don't ripen, then we'll probably just move them indoors to try to have them ripen, either like hanging upside down or something during the winter. But hopefully we get them to ripen before that. If we move indoors, uh, we've got our two inside that are just doing absolutely amazing. This truly tiny is just thriving right here. It's put out another four or five leaves this month alone. Um, so I'm super excited where this one goes. The fruit probably isn't gonna be edible. Um, but it should still fruit definitely this summer. So excited to see a little mini bananas. And then the Vinti Coho, which I think is gonna be our staple crop here in Atlanta, getting some serious fruit every year. It's also doing amazing, putting out another really healthy leaf here. You know, even you know, hitting the, the boards up here, I've got my little pink grow lights here that are probably not doing too much, uh, but also have a really good window right there. Um, and it's a good temperature. So. I'm really happy with this. Uh, you know, this is the really important one. I think, like I said, in the future is gonna be our main fruiter. Um, so I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. We're a little disappointed in not keeping the fruit alive, uh, but I'm really happy with, uh, you know, what we have so far. And it was worth a shot because now I know, you know, kind of what the temperature thresholds are for, for different uh, parts of the banana tree. Uh, so good experiment. I'll see you guys later.